Hey there, Paul Guyon here. And in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to use Google Docs to create a survey form. Now, I'm already logged into my Google account. Let me get back to where I was before a minute ago. I'll go to my Google Home. Uh, and to get to Google Docs, I have a little widget on my form, uh, but you might not have that there. So just go to your uh, this little tab right here account settings scroll down and these are all the uh, products and services you have set up in your Google account yours will look different but uh, find Docs click on Docs <clears throat> and then you'll see this screen right here so right here there's a create button uh, you can upload a form or you can create one I'm going to create a form and resolution and I've got some questions prepared uh, I'm not going to, to add a lot of text on this form because this is the form editor uh, because I'm going to be doing that in my um, blog post so let me spell resolution correctly resolution and I'll go over here and get my questions from Word uh, the first two questions are going to be uh, an optional name and email and then what is your New Year's resolution what's your biggest challenge in achieving it and re what results have you gotten so far and then um, that's going to be a multi-choice um, I think I'll ask other also uh, that'll be a multiple choice so let's go ahead and uh, pick the first one that's name Enter your name, optional, <clears throat> and I'm just going to say that that way. I'm not going to click the uh, make this required question, and I'll choose done. So there's my first question. The second one, I'm going to edit the one, that right there, email. Enter your primary email. I'm not going to make it again required. And then I'm going to add a text question. What is your new year's resolution? Enter your resolution. This one will be required. And the next question is, what is your biggest challenge in achieving it? I'm going to copy and paste this to make this go a little faster. And I'll add another item. It's a text. I'm going to paste that question in there. Enter your, enter your challenge. I'm going to make that required. Click Done. And uh, what's the next one? Uh, what are results have you gotten so far? I'm going to copy that. Add a multiple choice because this is a multiple choice question. I'm going to paste. Enter. Choose your results or enter something. In other. And the first multiple choice is uh, no results. The second one is gave up. The third one is oh, some results but need help. And the next answer is I'm on track. And then I'm going to add an other option by clicking here. It'll put an other so they can enter their own answer. And enter your own in other to make that a little bit more clear. 
Okay, so there we have it. We have a, a, a title to the form. I'm not going to put a lot of text here to explain because I'm going to do that outside of this form in the blog post. It's much easier to edit that. Uh, I've got your name and email, which are not required. What is your New Year's resolution, which has a little asterisk next to it. And Google Docs will put a little statement up there that uh, indicates that asterisk items are required. And uh, there's no asterisk here. Let me go back and check and make sure I made that required. Yeah, uh, there we go. I want that to be required. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the confirmation, which is the page that comes up after they've hit submit. Your response has been recorded. I will post the results on my blog. If you entered your name and email, I will contact you regarding the webinar with John Delemi. Paul Guyon. I'm not going to publish the results here because we're including the name and email and I don't want other people to be able to harvest those which would be uh, a no-no and uh, let's see I think I'm going to add since I mentioned that I'm going to tell them that um, your information is safe with us. We won't spam you. Just to let them give them a little bit more comfort. And it's not required. Okay. So there you have it. I'm going to hit save. There's pretty much the form. Uh, the next thing is going to be uh, the, I'm going to get the embed code for uh, the form, which is right here. I'm going to copy that into my clipboard by hitting control C. And then I'm going to paste it over here into my notepad. And before I paste it into my blog, I'm stopping at this step because I know the width of this thing is going to be too wide. Right here, it, it, the default width is 760. I'm thinking I'm going to make it 300. And I think that'll fit into my theme. And I'll just leave the height where it is. This is not rocket science. Don't get worried. Just if you, if you make a mistake here and it doesn't work, go back and get your embed code here again. And copy and paste it over. So no big deal. So I'm going to select this again. And then I'm going to go over to my blog where I have a page already set up, a blog post. And uh, it has a title and it has some text which kind of sets up why I'm doing this survey, which is to find out how they're doing with, uh, with their uh, goal setting for New, New Year's uh, resolutions. And you'll be able to read this uh, uh, on my blog. Now, uh, when you post HTML code into, you want to make sure, into a, a blog post, you want to make sure that you're in the HTML mode which allows you to put HTML code in. And so I'm going to, at the end of the post, add a couple of spaces, and I'm going to paste that Google code, that embed form code right here. And I'm going to choose Update. That's going to save it. And now I'm going to view the post in another tab so I can switch over to it nice and easy. So there it is. What is your biggest... Uh, challenge keeping up your New Year's resolution. And this sets it up. And right here is the form. I think I'm going to widen it. I'm going to go back and widen it a little bit. Uh, or maybe make it taller. Because it certainly should fit within this frame. Uh, but I'll do that later off, off camera. Uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Paul Guyon. Here's my email. Please don't spam me. Lose. Wait. Learn what to eat. Let me 
results have I gotten so far? Some results, but I need some help. And then I'm going to hit Submit. And then here's what they see after they hit Submit. And I think I'll go back and edit the title. You have to kind of tweak these a little bit, and I'm doing this on the fly. So um, there you have it. That's how you create a survey form in Google Docs and post it on your WordPress blog. Thanks for watching.